guys what's going on my name is Louis. today is september 10 2024 and god bless to every single one of you guys we have an urgent information coming out big breaking news crane hits moscow and lodges drone strike to date now once again vladimir is not happy he is not pleased and uh we're gonna see what's going on here there's pictures there's a lot of information uh this is uh Base, whoa, hold on. Just 30 miles from the Kremlin where Vladimir lives. They almost got him. They almost got Vlad. <laughs> oh, they almost got Vladimir. Wow. 30 miles from the uh, Kremlin where Vladimir lives. They almost got him. He's not happy. He is not happy all right we're gonna see what's going on here guys but before i start let's go with the verse of the day this is the book of uh psalms excuse me proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 september 9 the day 10th all right so very powerful right so it says here the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom that's my favorite verse one of my favorite, <laughs> man, one of my favorite. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Amen to that. Save this verse. Memorize the verse. Thoughts on today's verse. There are many noble and beneficial fields of academic pursuits. However, as today's scripture remind us, true wisdom and the greatest understanding can be found in only one place. A reverential knowledge of God and the acknowledgement of his will with our obedience in all our ways. Amen to that. Here's a prayer. Let me just read this one. Lord God, Holy Savior of Israel, and my Abba Father, thank you for the grace of prayer and the gift of your truth that leads to wisdom. Amen. So it says here, thank you for your steadfastness and faithfulness in sharing this truth with us in the Holy Scriptures. Mm. Through our experience of your presence in our lives and through the leading of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Thank you for your patience as we seek to integrate your truth into our daily lives and seek to live with wisdom. Thank you for your mercy and justice. We place our lives and futures in your hands as we strive to honor you with our obedience and be used for your glory. In Jesus' precious name we pray, amen. Before I start, guys, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. They almost got him. They almost got Vladimir. This is a, this is huge. Please share the video. Crane biggest drone strike on Moscow targeted the that region, district, destroying homes. Taking a 46 years old and diverting nearly 50 flights. My God, wow. They really dropped a hammer on this one here. The bear claims it downed over 20 drones in Moscow and 124 more across eight other regions. Kiev says the bear launched 46 drones overnight with 38 taken down. Wow, jeez. So a uh, drone war going on out there. This is a big breaking news. Please share the video, guys. Warders is putting out the information here. Crane struck the Moscow region on Tuesday in its biggest drone event so far on the bear capital Moscow, taking at least one. And my condolences and prayers to the families and friends that lost their loved ones. 
once again wrecking dozens of homes and forcing around 50 flights to be diverted. Man, so, uh, I mean, that airspace was completely, mm -mm. it was filled with drones. Planes had to turn around and say, nope, and it ain't going to happen. Now, stuff like this, I mean, at least Persia, Iran, they put out the, uh, you know, pilot alert, do not come to this airspace because they're going to be doing training. But uh, it seems like Crane, they don't do that. Crane just send the drones, doesn't matter what bird is out there in the sky, uh, if you're in the way, you're in the way. So it, it, it just, it's brutal. So the bear, the world's biggest nuclear power, and they are the biggest nuclear power, said it destroyed at least 20 Ukrainian strike drones as they swarmed over the capital, Moscow, which has a population of more than 21 million and 124 more over eight other regions. Man, they're sending a message. So at least one person was out near the capital, the Bay Author Authority said. Now, three of the Moscow four airports were closed for more than six hours, and almost 50 flights were diverted. Wow. They really sent a message uh, to Moscow. This is a strong message here. we like 50-something days away, and... It just gets worse and worse. It's like we're getting closer and closer. Now the capital is being impacted. So once again, Kiev said the bear, which sent tens of thousands of soldiers into Crane in February 2022, had struck it overnight with 46 drones, of which 38 were out. So Crane has a missile defense system that is taking out these drones and is doing a good job. I mean, 46 drones 38 were taken out that's incredible that's a, a good defense so the drone strikes on the bear damaged at the high-rise apartment buildings in that region district of the capital moscow setting uh flats on fire resident told reuters now a 46 was out and three were impacted now follow me with the cold words here guys now, Moscow Regional Gov uh, said, so giving the updates of this drone war. Ooh. Just imagine waking up. Boom. Jeez. They really dropped a hammer on the bear. Residents say they awoke to the boom sound. I looked at the window and saw a ball of fire. Alexander, a resident of the district, told Reuters the window got blown out by the shockwave. Now, the question here, the question here is why is Crane um, sending drones to populated area? I mean, that's... Mm. So this person, a resident who declined to give his surname, said he heard a drone buzzing outside his building in the early hours. Wow. I drew back the curtain and it hit the building right before my eyes. I saw it and then he said, I took my family and we ran outside. This region, some 50 kilometers, 31 miles southeast of the Kremlin, has a population of around quarter a million. So, it was a lot of people in that region. It's like this. It's like drones in Times Square. Just imagine that. Drone in Times Square. Whew. More than 70 drones were also down over the bare Varnyansk uh, region and tens more over other regions. Now, the Bear Defense Ministry said there was no damage or casual reported there. There you go. I just mentioned that name, Drone War. That's what's going on. This is uh, this is the new future stuff here. Cyber, drone, you name it. You have a uh, uh, new Bitcoin, um, you know, digital currency. I mean, everything is all brand new stuff. Welcome to the future. As the bear advances its eastern crane, Kiev has taken the biblical war to the bear with a cross-border strike in the bear. 
Western Kursk region that began on August 6 and by carrying out increasingly large drone deep into the bear territory. Now, the biblical war has largely been, been a grinding artillery and drone war along the 1,000 kilometers, that's 220 miles, heavily fortified front line in southern and eastern Ukraine, involving hundreds of thousands of soldiers. It says here, Moscow and Kiev have both sought to buy and develop new drones, deploy them in innovative ways, and seek new ways to destroy them. From shock, you know what, to advanced electronic jamming system. Like I mentioned earlier, this is the future. This is WW3. Both sides have turned cheap commercial drones into very powerful equipment while ramping up their own production and assembly to strike target including tanks, energy, infrastructure such as refineries and airfields. The bear leader Vladimir, who has sought to insulate Moscow from the grinding rigors of the biblical war, says that the Ukrainian drone strike are terrorism as they impact innocence and has vowed a response. Here we go. A massive response is underway. A response is imminent. Here we go. This is the one right here, guys. So Vlad has warned that there will be a response. Once again, Moscow and other big of the bear cities have largely been insulted from the biblical war. Now the bear has hit Crane with thousands of flying objects and drones in the last two and a half years, taking thousands, wrecking much of the land's energy system and damaging commercial and residential properties across the land. And again, uh, Ukrainian forces, over 400,000 gone. Over 400,000 forces. Just just think about that. 400,000 soldiers. I mean, this is why here in our land, they, they're doing a draft. And uh, also, uh, if you find some of the videos, uh, there are conscription going on. So let's say you go to Crane for vacation, right? And uh, if you... Uh, 25 years old, I mean, they're going to snatch you and say, hey, you're going to have to put the camouflage front line. Mm. Crane says it has a right to strike back deep into the bear country, though uh, the bear, ca I mean, Kiev, Western backers have said they do not want a direct confrontation between the bear and the sleeping giant led to NATO military alliance. It's very true. Now, Crane said we have the right to strike back. Yeah, you do. But use your own equipment. If you use our stuff, then the bear is going to come and start knocking on our door. Hey, you gave the green light to them. They hit us with your equipment. I just sent Cuba a nice piece of equipment. Remember what happened in the 60s. I'm just saying. So there were there was no immediate comment from Crane about Tuesday's strike. Both sides denied targeting innocence. Tuesday strike followed drone event. Crane launched in early September, targeting chiefly of the Bear Energy and Power Facility. Authorities of the Tula region, which neighbors the Bear Capital region to its north, said drone wreckage fell onto a fuel an energy facility, but the technological process of the facility was not affected. And that's where we are right now. That is where we are right now. Vlad is not very happy. <laughs> he almost got hit. He almost got hit 30 miles away. He almost got hit. Once again, Vlad is not happy. So, this is uh, one of the latest breaking news, guys. Crane hits Moscow, and boy, oh boy, um, Vlad said that there will be a response. And um, 
as we get closer and closer to November, how many days are we? There's a countdown. There is a countdown. Here's a countdown. 55 days away. That's the countdown. Fifty five days away. And we are seeing that uh we have a crane striking deep into the bear territory, in Moscow. And they are getting closer to Vladimir again uh property. He's not pleased. So is Vladimir heading uh, towards a bunker? I mean he has to get extra protection now. Because if they did this last night, basically they're sending a message, hey, we're going to get you eventually. So as we are uh, getting closer and closer to November, Vlad is not pleased. And uh, yeah, there's going to be a imminent response. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video. For those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago. Oh, my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.